Vuex is an awesome state management library. It's simple and integrates well with Vue. But the new composition API in Vue 3 exposes the underlying reactivity system. It introduces a new way for structuring our application. The new reactivity system is so powerful that it could be used for a centralized state management. Today, we're going to be using the composition API to create our own state management store similar to Vuex. Then at the end of the video, we'll compare the difference between the two solutions, determine which one you should use in your application. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other Vue.js videos. You can grab the link to the full source code in the description below. The main reason Vuex exists is to allow a global reactive state in your Vue application. Without it, you could only share the local component state by passing props down to a child component and using events for passing data back to the parent. Using Vuex instead provides many benefits, like simplifying the flow of data as your application grows in complexity. The new composition API allows you to create independent reactive variables outside of a component and in fact outside of the Vue application. This allows us to easily pass around reactive JavaScript objects Knowing this, you could create a module file exporting reactive variables and import this into any component where you want to use it. This has an obvious application of replacing Vuex as a global reactive state. So that brings up the question, do we still need Vuex? Before we can answer that question, let's see how we can roll our own Vuex using the composition API. The application we'll be creating is a simple counter. When a user clicks the button, it will increment a global state value and we'll also have it multiplied by two. This way, we can take a look at the concepts of state, getters, and mutations with respect to the composition API. Let's get started by creating a Vue 3 project using the Vue CLI tool. Make sure you select the Vue 3 option. These options may look different in the future as Vue 3 becomes more adopted. Inside of our newly created project, we'll create a global state file that will export our state. It will contain a reactive object with the state we would like to access throughout our application. In our case, we'll simply set a count value as one. This will be the value that is incremented whenever a user clicks the button. Now we can create our counter component and import it into our app view file. We can also import our global store and return the state from our setup function. We'll also add a computed property which will multiply our state by two. In our component, we can display these values and add a button that when clicked increments our counter. And that's all there is to global state with the new composition API. But Vuex is more than just a state management library. It also offers a pattern to make state predictable and easier to manage by introducing the concepts of mutations and getters. Let's also add these concepts to our composition API Vuex store. All we have to do to create our getter is move the computed function into our store. This way, the value can be accessed if we need to use it in any other part of our code. For mutations, we can create an increment function that will accept a value to add to the counter. In our case, the value would be 1, but this allows us to use a different value if we wish to do so in the future. Lastly, in Vuex, the store is only allowed to be changed by these mutation functions so we can wrap the state in a read-only function so that it can't be mutated directly. Now, let's go back to our counter component and use these new functions. We'll additionally have to import our getter and increment function and return these in the setup function. Now, we've created our own Vuex store that follows the Vuex patterns. I would also like to mention, you could use the provide and inject to access the global store. We could provide the global state in a parent component and then use the inject function to access it in a child component. This doesn't really provide a benefit though, since we can import the state directly. Provide and inject becomes really valuable when you create a reactive state inside a view component setup function and would like to share it with other child components. You can learn more about provide and inject from my other video where I go over this topic in more detail. Link in the description below. Now that we have finished creating our store with the composition API, we can answer the question, do we still need Vuex? Using the composition API, we have overcome a lot of the complaints about Vuex. The first is we have reduced the amount of boilerplate code and the number of dependencies. 
but it's important to note we are missing out on a lot of the features offered by Vuex. Although we have copied the reactive state mechanism, we're still missing out on the nice debugging capabilities Vuex has to offer. In Vuex, all mutations are tracked in the Vuex dev tools, and there is also a built-in Vuex logger. Vuex also allows you to go back in time to view a previous state of our application. Another advantage is Vuex comes with an ecosystem of plugins, making our lives easier so we don't have to reinvent the wheel. For example, if we wanted our state to be persisted across browser reopenings, we could use the Vuex Persistent State plugin, which will sync the state to local storage whenever it changes. There is no harm in creating a simple module for a global reactive state using the Composition API in a small project or if it's really important to avoid any overhead. But even though Vuex has more boilerplate code, it makes it easier for debugging and comes with a full list of useful plugins you can use. Learning Vuex is an important skill which will help you in your journey to build Vue applications. You should check out some of my other tutorials about Vuex if you're interested in learning more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button to help out my channel. I hope to see you in the next one.